Vienna, Austria, February 2020. Mid-season check-in. It's February, and I'm midway through my fourth professional season playing basketball overseas. The basketball seasons in Europe can be up to 10 months long, which is a long time away from home. It's important to take advantage of downtime that you do get to recharge your batteries, both physically and mentally. Take the time to check in with yourself. Ask yourself how you're feeling, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and figure out the things you need to do on a regular basis to take care of yourself. The first half of a season is packed. Maybe you're living in a completely new city or country, you're settling in with your team and learning the routine, establishing what your role is, setting goals for the season, and then finally, getting to the action of the regular season. Midway through the season, you get to look at how things have gone so far. Take a breath and then reevaluate what needs to be done in order to finish out the season strong. I mentioned being away from home. Home has always been an interesting topic for me. What and where is home? To me, your home isn't always permanent. And it also isn't always confined to being in one particular place. I know it sounds cliche, but home is where your heart is. My mother once told me this, and that if I always listen to and follow my heart, that I'll always be able to feel at home no matter where I am along my journey. I've taken heed to those words, and whether I'm actively thinking about it or not, it's helped me to be able to quickly find comfort in my surroundings and in the places that I've chosen to live in over the years. I've bounced around. I was born in Charlotte, North Carolina, grew up in Los Angeles, California, and Portland, Oregon, went away to the East Coast for college in Vermont, and then I was fortunate enough to embark on my journey overseas, pursuing a basketball career, which has brought me to live in multiple countries. Austria, Germany, Ukraine, and now France. I feel connected to the different places I've been to and lived in. I met my fiance in Vienna, and we're planning to get married here. I've also had teammates and met people outside of basketball from different countries who I feel will always be in my life going forward. I don't know what the future holds, but I've come to learn in being a way that Trusting my gut won't steer me wrong. It's a marathon and not a sprint. Something I'm learning is to just enjoy each day for what it is and to take things one step at a time.